Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today is gonna be a very special reading. Um, I just came from a certain exhibition that was very powerful. Uh, this exhibition was from ancient Egypt and I've got so many insights and so much information, so much energy that I have to uh, somehow let it out to the world and I'm doing this reading to um, give you those messages that I have to I suppose to give out as soon as possible um, too much information is in me right now so if you hear me like kind of out of this world that's okay it's just today like that and today we're gonna look at messages from your ancestors, uh, Egyptian gods, goddesses. Uh, we all, you know, came from ancient civilizations and it doesn't matter what uh, religion you believe in, what kind of bank background you have. It's really, you know, we all come from the same source. And today you're gonna have, I'm sure, very strong and necessary messages, okay? Uh, you may choose from those three stones. Pile one. Pile two. And pile three. I will barely use any cards, uh, maybe one or two. We'll see how it goes. More I'm going to read the energy, that's how I'm supposed to do it right now, okay? If you feel anxious or scared or worried, don't watch this reading. This is for uh, the strong souls who uh, are okay to communicate with their ancestors, their spirit guides and um, that's what we're gonna do today Pile 1, Pile 2 and Pile 3 Hello Pile 1, whoever chose this stone what kind of message you have to receive from the ancient civilizations, your ancestors, Egyptian gods? We're looking at that specific civilization today, okay? Prepare. Look at this card. A person is preparing for something. They're writing down notes. They're getting ready for something. Um, I just noticed this tattoo over here, if you can see it. I don't know, it could be something about tattoos or um, some engravings I hear, something written. But I'm just going to read the message from uh, your ancestors and you listen, okay? Prepare to get the information that may hurt you in the beginning or may scare you in the beginning. But don't be scared of it. This information is coming to you specifically because you are a very strong soul. You can get this information by mail, you can get this information by, um, I hear post office, maybe will go and pick up some, you know, letters and stuff. This information could come from people. But it's not scary because something very bad is about to happen to you. No, it will scare you because it's so strong. It's so important. 
and this will be maybe the first time when you will have to deal with such situation maybe before um, you had some help in specific situations you um, somebody did something for you maybe or somebody helped you in a specific matter here you're gonna deal with it yourself here you're gonna be responsible here you will be the only one responsible for, you, for what you're about to do in your life maybe it's gonna be scary because you will be accepted somewhere or you will be granted something you will have to go somewhere and be on your own where it's just you and your fears but you will definitely overcome those fears because there will be no other choice but win this personal competition this will be a competition between your, you and yourself your mind your heart your soul basically you competing and fighting your own fears and breaking through something and when you actually will be done it's a quick process it's not that long it's not a turmoil nothing like that it's just when you are done with it you're gonna feel relieved you're gonna feel excited you're gonna feel reborn and maybe after that you will even write down your experience on a piece of paper I don't know in your notes but when you're gonna feel this fear it's a personal fear your animal totems will be around you your guides your ancestors will be around you don't worry physically you will be saved you will be safe you will be watched for our energy is gonna keep you in shape in balance in safety what else is there anything else vitality <clears throat> you are strong enough to overcome so many things but it seems like you're not aware of it and we're gonna show you how strong you are we're gonna show you that you're capable of doing this whatever you're about to do and as soon as your fears will be released you will start your life from the scratch you will start brand new you will start new projects you will, will start new family you will start new um, approach or view on your life that it wasn't like that before some of you even will uh, gather fans followers people that will be inspired by you pile one don't be scared if you will be challenged to do something because uh, this will only strength, strengthen your power and your skills you have something in you that you barely use it's coming from ancient times your from your ancestors and they wanted to come to life they wanted to be seen to the world something that you've been hiding in yourself you've been keep, keeping low 
now it's going to spark. And don't worry. You are very well protected. During this process. I hear three to five weeks. And um, the word prepare means just prepare your body, prepare your mind, but don't be afraid. It's like, did you hear the car just like started the gas, push the gas before it drives? Same thing, it, it's here. You prepare before you have to actually make a move. But you want to drive so fast and so far, eventually, metaphorically speaking, that when you turn around, you wouldn't even remember how scared you were or how worried you were before. Or you wouldn't even understand how you lived before when you didn't have the strength, when you didn't have the skill or you didn't show it to the world. Now it's going to be seen. Also here ground yourself more, be in nature, be around uh, hills, rocks, um, forest, water, oceans, whatever. Uh, wherever you can get a uh, nature vibes. Thank you, Pile One. You have a very strong energy and things to do ahead. So don't, you know, don't be afraid. It's a challenge, but it's your own channel, challenge within you. I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile two. Whoever chose this love stone. Let's see. Your guides, your ancestors, ancient civilizations of Egypt would like to tell you something today. friendship I for some reason knew this card will come out when I was shuffling before you reading expect to get a new friend a new partner for some it's a partner for some it's a friend for some it's a love partner business partner spiritual body maybe <laughs> that's going to share thoughts with you. You will be like, you will understand each other from one word. You will be intuitively <clears throat> completing each other. For example, you think one thing, uh, the other person already said something like that. For some, you already have such person next to you, around you. If you don't expect to get such person that will inspire you to open new um, knowledge in you, to find out new things about this world, how the world functions. If it's a love partner, your love will expand. I hear to many dimensions. <laughs> <coughs> You will just click. It's a very strong bond. And during this bond, you wouldn't need to worry if someone's lying to you, if they're true to you, if they're honest with you. Those kind of thoughts, they wouldn't even appear in your head. Because how strongly you will feel each other. What else? And look, love, as I said. <clears throat> love could be different. 
soulmate vibe. Even if you business partners, you will understand each other like that. What else? <clears throat> protection. I just heard protection comes with words. What does it mean? And we have the sword here. Uh, if you have a certain amulet or um, something on your neck, I hear, or on your body, uh, protect, protection stone, could be a ring, whatever it is, and you feel that this you have connection with this item, whatever it is, maybe it's something you keep just in your purse. You can make a certain ritual of protection on it. You can talk. This swords, it's like um, air, right? So you can speak, say something next to this item and say for it to protect you and it will protect you. It will be your personal protection spell, an item that will keep you safe. Just talk to it, feel it. <clears throat> Is there anything else? Organize the mind. Uh, pile two, you may have issues with organizing your mind. Maybe your mind is all over the place. Uh, your ancestors would like to tell you that you use your mind for the wrong reasons. You're not thinking of, of, of what you should think of. You sometimes get distracted. And by the way, when I started Pile 2, I turned and I'm like, it's a distraction, some distraction going on. Maybe someone distracts your mind because of their issues or problems. Maybe someone is um, telling you about their problems and you kind of try have to carry on their problems or help them with something. Um, separate yourself from anyone else's issues. Or separate yourself from negative thoughts. Even if it's your own thoughts. Okay? You have to um, organize your mind because your mind take, requires or takes lots of energy from you. And if you're going to know how to organize your mind, you will learn how to balance your energy, how to keep yourself in balance. I hear learn the order of things, learn the importance of things. As soon as you start thinking about someone that's not necessary in your life or they done you wrong or they hurt you, uh, catch this thought and say, wow, I'm thinking about it right now and it takes my energy, it takes my time, that time I can do something better in this life, okay, and I'm thinking about something I shouldn't think. You have to, you know, organize, organize your thoughts, pile two. And it's going to be your personal growth. Your um, ancestors, they want you to have personal growth, but something keeps you away from thinking straight or thinking about what you should do some distractions going on but you can keep it in uh, you know in balance you can make this happen thank you pile number two and i'm going for pile number three Hello, pile three, whoever chose this blue stone. Let's see. What your 
ancestors, ancient civilization of Egypt wants to tell you today. Breaking illusions and look how it matches your stone. There's water in here. I want to tell you pile number three. Expect some illusions to crack and fall apart. Someone's fake faces to fall apart. Honesty is coming your way. Expression of honesty. Someone even may be in your circle that will suddenly open up to you. They maybe didn't say anything for years or didn't say the truth for years. They will suddenly decide to say it. The masks will be broken, removed. And you will finally see the truth of the story of a person, of your life. Something that you didn't understand about your life will be on the surface. What else? Dream work. And look, uh, there's a dream work, breaking illusions. Your ancestors, they will give you messages through your dreams or during your meditations. They will send you signs, maybe in the form of butterflies even, in the form of someone's faces, masks. I want to open, I hear I have to open two more cards to confirm something here, I don't know why. Propagating energy. Justice. I understand now. Someone, for quite some time, uh, gave you a wrong guidance. Put you in the wrong thoughts intentionally or unintentionally okay so someone uh, maybe propagated some um, information to you that was delusional you've seen this world uh, with your closed eyes but now you will have a certain revelation Okay, you will understand something here. Some honesty is coming. Remember I told you, honesty is coming. This person that gave you illusions, they could be your friend or your enemy. I don't know. They could be some um, spiritual guide. They could be uh, somebody who didn't have best intentions for you. I don't know, maybe you've been scammed by someone. I don't know, guys, it doesn't mean all of you will now don't have to trust anyone right now. But somehow your illusions will be broken. This is a good thing for you. The truth will come out to the surface. How are you going to feel about it? Communication. You're going to feel like you want to uh, talk about it. You want to express it I don't know how you're gonna express it but you will definitely say gratitude to your ancestors after that you're gonna say wow all this time I was delusional I didn't understand what I'm going what I'm doing uh, or I didn't understand the intentions of someone I thought it's one thing and in reality it's a different thing And uh, eventually, it will get you to relaxed energy. You're going to be so um, relaxed after that. It's like all the burden will fall off from you. You're going to have an aha moment. Like, aha, that's what it is. I understand now. 
and you're going to be grateful that you found out this information. However, it will resonate with you, I don't know, pile number three. But uh, there is something about personal realization, personal growth. Expect to receive this um, realization in the next 28 days from whenever you watch this reading um, within a moon cycle let's say one moon cycle that's what I had for you today guys thank you very much I love you all and I'll see you soon bye bye